You know, I'm just trying to figure out which version of Hitler is best. We've got, obviously, Canadian Hitler. Then there's also Dominican Republic Hitler. And then there's that one Hitler from The Void. Now, before you come at me and tell me just the millions of reasons why this would have never played out like this or why it's not perfect in, in, in some way or the other, just remember I'm a dumbass strategy reaction channel that watches Hoi 4 for a living. Yeah, so, I mean, just to say the least, I'm not the brightest out there. Alright, cool, now that we have the fucking obvious out of the way, I, I wanted to try this because in a previous video, I gave Spain and Portugal their New World Colonies back, and a lot of people wanted to see me do the same thing with the French. Now, in this universe, France has control over Canada, as well as, obviously, they still have French Louisiana, or New France, I, I don't know what they were calling it. Just for anybody wondering, this is what I tried to base the, uh, the map off of, at least with the US territory. I don't know, maybe the Louisiana Purchase never happened, or France somehow got this stuff back. I this, this is the Drew Dernell channel. Okay, let's not think too deep here. Lastly, I would assume that there'd be some tension between uh, these two nations. So either Mexico would fly under the radar, or they would be able to win their wars because there's there's just a lot of distraction going on. As well as Cascadia's here, just, just for funsies, because I didn't really know who else to give this to. So here we go. Now, I think this would be a pretty interesting world, at least a pretty interesting North America, if France were to go communist. And I have a feeling that's... That's what's gonna happen. We just gotta see if they form their own faction, or if they join the common turn. You know, I was thinking, if Paradox gave us a Senor Hilter event in Argentina, maybe it's not super crazy to, you know, uh, maybe think that one day we might get a, at least a war goal in the French focus tree that allows them to try to take these two territories back. You know, to this day, this part of the US doesn't really have all that much in it, and uh, if I were to guess, back in 1936, there probably ain't shit here. Uh, so I I'm not really sure how much the French are, are really gonna be getting in terms of at least new factories. That's a little worrying now that I think about it. I hope we see somewhat of a difference. So for those of you that might be living in some of these states, uh, I, I would just I would just get the white flags ready. Oh damn, okay. Well, already the Canadians don't seem to be too big of a fan of their new overlord. I'm just surprised this is all happening so fast. It's only a year and a half into the campaign and uh, they're, they're gonna switch over here. I know France is starting to send divisions over here, but uh, you're gonna wanna get a ton more that this is not going to be enough. Oh, that's some pretty good news. It's definitely a good start for communism in Western Europe. I'd imagine the U.S. is definitely going to be struggling here, but even though they have only a third of the territory, I think they're a little bit stronger than they might look. I mean, I, I don't know. They still do have a lot of work to do. Six, six military factories? Okay, that that's bad. Dang, I, I'm still amazed at how fast this all went down. They're already about to be 50% fascists. I guess we can expect a civil war soon. Damn it! Oh, well, I I tried, guys. I, I'm sorry. Mexico took you out. Uh, you you tried, Cascadia. I, I should have I should have known, honestly. Oh, and it looks like Japan has kicked out fascism and they've gone non-aligned. Yeah. So if I remember correctly, it and it looks like it, they're gonna be going after the Soviets soon. We also have a war between Hungary and Yugoslavia, which uh, Yugoslavia, you better be careful. I, I don't know if the Germans are gonna like this very much. Oh, and also it looks like France is not only going communist, but they are joining the common turn. All right, that's some pretty big news. As well as from the looks of it, we also have just the scariest of all men now leading Canada. What a truly nice and adorable looking man. You know, I'm just trying to figure out which version of Hitler is best. We've got obviously Canadian Hitler. Then there's also Dominican Republic Hitler. And then there's that one Hitler from The Void. Well, here we go. I guess there has to be a civil war. I'm just really hoping it's gonna be a quick one. I guess this is smart. Y you might as well just join the common turn now. Maybe Papa can help out. Damn, all right, I had no idea the French had this many divisions on both sides. And of course, this shouldn't come as much of a surprise, but this part of the US is, you know, known to be just totally communist. They switched over immediately because, yeah, I mean, they're just a bunch of commies. Oh, what? Oh, okay, so regular democratic France just called in fascist Canada. Wow, all right, well, this is now really interesting. Wait a second, I, I don't even know if the French have any divisions over here. Oh, okay. This, this is going to be a bloodbath. Yeah, I don't know if they were sending their divisions back to Europe. It kind of seems that way, but um, that means there's, there's basically nothing here. Unless the French commune can wrap this up as soon as possible, which is, you know, it could happen, and then they kind of send their divisions over this way. Oh, is that, oh, the Soviet Union. Oh, that is beautiful. Coming across the Atlantic to save the U.S. Oh, God, that's not what they're doing. They're, they're just trying to protect these very valuable islands. This is a very odd sight to see. Both democratic France and fascist Canada working together. Okay, well, this is uh, this is gonna lead to something because I'm assuming the Civil War has ended. 
Yes, it did. All right, which means we now have World War II, actually. Yep, so any moment now, we're going to see uh, Germany and Italy join in since... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, these guys are all alone up here. This was definitely one of the most unique triggers for World War II. Maybe even one of my favorites. We had a French Civil War while they were going communist, Canada was going fascist, and now we have Germany versus France and the Soviet Union back in Europe. All right. Well, that's definitely going to help. I'm sure you guys also need it because, I mean, the French just got out of a pretty big conflict. Damn. All right, well, this is going to be a pretty big problem because I'm assuming by the end of this year, Syrup land is going to control most of North America. Wow, okay, I was I was gone for like one month. One month looking at North America, and, and this is this is already what it looks like. You guys need to get your life together. I mean, I know I'm doing a video about France, so yeah, I expected some surrendering, but not this quickly. I gotta admit, I'm a little disappointed in uh, East Asia. I feel like every single time, it's just the same stuff. Should there be more crazy stuff happening. We also once again have Peru joining the Axis and Chile joining the Comintern. Not really a big deal, but just wanted to point that out. Wow, all right, well, we're gonna see how powerful Germany is here. They're, they're looking pretty strong because they're already moving into Iberia. I guess this is gonna be the true test though. Besides French Africa, this is pretty much the only territory France still has under their control. I, I think they're gonna lose it here too, although they've got a lot of divisions. They might be okay. As long as they have Louisiana under their control, maybe they can do some voodoo magic type shit and pull this out. Of course, Spain really didn't put much of a fight up either. Uh, I guess it's fine though, as long as the Eastern Front hasn't really moved much, it'll be okay. And now the Swiss have joined the common turn because I'm assuming Adolf has decided not to put his gold there. All right, that's a pretty unique Eastern war. A little bit better. Uh, wh why did they do this? Yeah, we've got very minor conflicts going on over here, which is kind of cool. Let's see if it builds up slowly. I wasn't really sure if this was going to happen, but I guess no, the UK is not down to let Benelux join in, so they're in the common turn. And so is Yugoslavia. Okay, well the Germans are doing really well. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be enough to actually take them down. Oh, FDR is also at war with Argentina. Wow, that's that's tough. They better watch out for Canada too. I, I, could, I could see some stuff happening here. There we go. Now we finally have some Soviets in Arkansas, it looks like, helping to fight the Canadians. That's something I never thought I'd say. The Germans have finally declared war on the UK, even though it's not that big of a deal. There's not very many allied members in this universe. It's still something. I don't know. Every little bit helps. Oh, there goes Poland. They just dropped out, and the Germans just took everything, I'm assuming. What is this? Poland, what? I, I've never seen them with this name before. I, is this a formable nation? I'm confused. And look at this. The tides are slowly changing in the middle of North America. I don't know where the Canadian divisions were at before. They're starting to bring them back though. Oh my god, this might be why. Is that British Malaya? Yeah, yes. British Malaya is landing in Eastern Canada. What have we done? Well, here's some new friends for the Allies, both Denmark and Norway. Unfortunately, they're gonna die soon. Oh crap, did you guys just get encircled? Yes, they did. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Canada with a knife to the throat. France is... France is gonna lose their entire military here. When I started this video, I thought... Does it matter if I actually give Haiti to France? I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. But in the end, this is maybe the only territory they have under their control. This has been a really fun North American campaign. Even though uh, France has lost everything here, it just got even more interesting. Mexico joined the Axis, and the U.S. joined the Allies. Let's see if FDR can hold them off. Yeah, you know, if nothing comes up, I actually think... I, I think the Communists have this. Th there's no reason why they shouldn't. Oh, and the Americans have landed in southern Mexico. This is going to be the big advantage, obviously, the U.S. have because they still have that massive navy. Still, things are looking pretty rough out here. Seems like everyone in Latin America is joining the Axis. Finally, Canada just got pulled into the war, which is great because they're going to get whooped. Uh, the U.S. has 3.5 million manpower and almost 100 divisions. So here we are. It looks like World War II is finally winding down. Surprisingly, it looks like the U.S. still did quite a lot of the work. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure they're not going to try to take all the credit and pretend like they single-handedly won World War II. Th that, would, that would that would be crazy. Bam, and here's the peace treaty. Treaty of Guadalajara. That, that's a unique one. The U.S. only taking 13 states. Oh, the French commune taking one. Soviet Union taking 31. I'm wondering if they got any puppets. Well, this doesn't look too bad. I actually expected way, way worse. Once again, we have a split in Germany. We also have a communist Italy. That's fun. Whoa, all right, the common turn just took over everything. Wow, all right, I was not expecting that. They even got Brazil. Dang, there there will be no World War III or Cold War. I mean, 
the Allies can't can't do anything. The US ended up getting back some of these states on the West Coast, as well as I think Alaska, right? Yep, they got back Alaska. But you know what? It's fine, Mexico, because uh, you got the only places that really matter, California and Texas. Please don't, don't kill me. Canada is once again a democracy, but you know, it's fine. That was one of the best Canadian games I think we've ever seen. I'm proud of you guys. I think the biggest results out of this video though is the French Commune. Even though they started as, I'd say one of the greatest powers in the game, they're still gonna be in the shadow of the Soviet Union. But you know what? Let's give them a little bit of credit. At least they stayed true to themselves and even in this alternative universe, they still surrendered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And as always, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. Franco is thick, Leather Daddy Lennon, Matthew Rembish, Free Cruise, Swiss Argo, Jake Paul's My Daddy, Tyler, Jason Wright, Sean Spillman, Jen's Love Disc, Matthew King, Bruce Furication, Matthew E, Jung Cooks Bay, Elijah Senpai, Wyone, and Elfie C.